here with uh, quarterback Sam Levitt at Arizona State's Media Day. And uh, Sam, you've been uh, on campus for about uh, two and a half weeks. Uh, how similar, how different it is to Michigan State besides the weather? Yeah, um, I mean, you know, you're definitely going to find differences between programs. Um, you know, but I'm loving it out here. And everybody, they're being super welcoming, you know, and I love the strength staff and the workouts. And so, you know, I'm just every day trying to get better. Were you an early enrollee uh, back in Michigan State, too? No, I wasn't. Oh, you wasn't? Okay. So, so now, now that you're coming to, uh, to a new school, uh, you know, in the spring, you already kind of noticed maybe some of the differences that, uh, you know, that make you think it make it easier for a transition? Yeah, no doubt. You know, just playing in an offense for a year in college football, you know, it's going to make all the difference. You know, I was in a pro stop before this, so um, all the checks I'll have to make at the line and everything in terms of that, you know, it's just going to flow a lot quicker. How, how, how's life been, you know, outside of football, just, just being here in Tempe as, as a student? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a nice area. You know, you hear about Arizona State and, you know, you think of a nice place, so you, know, you definitely get that vibe and it's a bigger city, but uh, I'm loving it. When you heard that uh, Mar Marcus Aware was going to be the, the new offensive coordinator uh, and you, uh, you know, being from Oregon and you know how well he did with Justin Herbert uh, with, with the Oregon Ducks uh, a couple years back, uh, would it be fair to say that that was one element that really entered your thought process uh, considering Arizona State? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, once I heard it was him, you know, I got on the phone with him and um, you know, that was one of the biggest selling points for me to come here. Uh, got to meet him in person, and uh, we spent a lot of time talking ball when I came here. And, uh, you know, it was, it was probably the biggest selling point for me, um, just spending every day with him and uh, trying to pick his brain. And, you know, he's taking multiple dudes to the NFL, so uh, just learning from him and every day just trying to see what it takes to get to the NFL. When People talk about an offense being quarterback friendly. What does that mean to you, and how does uh, Marcus Aurora really exemplify that? Yeah, I mean, to me, I feel like quarterback friendly just means, you know, I get control of the offense. Um, uh, I'm going to have every check in and out of what I need to do, so we're never going to be in a bad play, and I can always put us in a good play. Um, and obviously throwing the ball is what I love to do, so um, taking shots and stuff like that. And, you know, that's exactly what he does. He gives me all the keys, and, you know, he's going to prepare me to do exactly what I need to do every play. Even though some of the players are not here anymore, how much of uh, last year's ASU offense uh, do, you, do you watch and maybe try to take away from that to prepare you? for this uh, 2024 season, or is it maybe something that, um, you know, just have to be kind of careful really taking any, you know, drawing any conclusions, I should say? Yeah, I don't know if I'm really taking much of what they did last year because, you know, it's a new OC. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm watching all the stuff that Royal did at Oregon and UNLV and, you know, all the places he was at and the NFL's, the NFL teams that he's taking stuff from. So um, just watching all that film and, you know, seeing the different concepts on tape and all that. So. I know spring practice is uh, about uh, two months away, but uh, what, what are you uh, most looking forward to that first day of practice? Yeah, I mean, just getting back out there, you know, and being in the pads and uh, grinding with my teammates and, you know, really putting it together after spending time in the film room and, you know, learning the offense and all that, really putting it together will be, you know, what I'm most looking forward to.